What's up, everyone? It's Mixmaster Nut, and I'm back. Yeah. And I have a great gameplay for you guys today. Basically, I'm starting off with upgrading my my ballistic knife to the cross refibulator. I also have the sickle, so this is the best knife combo. We're going to start round 11. And I'm just going to go on a tear with these knives. And to tell you guys the truth, this is one of my best gameplays I've ever gotten on this map, Call of the Dead. By this time, I've owned this map, but when I got this gameplay, this is actually early gameplay because this was before I got the achievement with sending the crew to paradise. So when I kill George in this, I get the death machine instead of the wonder rifle, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but um. I get a lot of death machines also in this gameplay, so that made it a ton of fun and helped me kill George off a couple times within this 14 minute span. I get a few rounds of work done in. And uh, so basically you're just going to see me go on a tear and kill off these zombies as fast as I can, just clutching it with, with my knife, cross refibrillator combo. And here I am just, just running around. Trying to round up George and also the zombies. I need to dip them in the water, but it's kind of weird with uh, all the zombies spawning in still. And I'm trying to get him in front of the crowd, so I decided that pass wasn't a good chance to try to put put him into the water without me getting stuck in it as well. So circling zombies, circling zombies, killing them off. Trying not to take too much damage. Like, oh, there's a lot of damage, so. Said, hey, I'm not even gonna chance this one. Just keep on running, keep on running, until I heal up. Cool. Now I got George in front. Let's see if I can keep him there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And uh, yep, we can get it. Dip him in the water. Cut my way out. And that was a close one. But uh, now he's in the water, so I can go and just keep on, keep him in a circle. Unfortunately, I was trying to. Um, just kill them as they're spawning in, but now that they're all grouped in that I have to keep them circled up. It's a bit harder when you're knifing. Well, it's just a bit more dangerous because you can all of a sudden take two, three hits like boom, 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 and all of a sudden you're down. So you just got to be careful when, when you're trying to knife with uh, the zombies all grouped up. You know, get in, get out, just like that. You can see I took two or three hits right there. I don't want to take any more. So... Circling around, circling around, boom, killing off the last of the zombies for round 11. Check out my claymore pile. Oh, that's a good tip. Uh, whenever the round starts, whenever you get uh, a max ammo, always put your claymore down there. I didn't do it this round, I guess. I, I was just kind of caught up in the moment, chopping shit up. But killing off the fast guys right now. Let's see, there's one or two slow guys back down there, like as slow as possibly can be. And George took a swipe and actually hit me on that one, but whatever. We're about to go to war, me and George. So, taking him through the lighthouse and going to take him into another water area so that uh, the crawlers don't get in the way when when I go to work on George. So, just taking him through here, not really spending time to hit, hit up the windows. Sometimes I'll just get you in trouble, man, and George will trap you up in a corner. So, going down here, I'm not sure why I went down here, maybe that was an accident. But I'm getting on land before I freeze, and uh, this this part of the gameplay is a little bit slower, because I gotta get, I, I'm sorry, I have to wait for George to come through the water here, even though he's almost dead, because you can see his light is, is flashing orange and very slowly so I think I just lost a little bit of patience like fine I'm just gonna beat him up right here just a little bit to cure the ADD and I know the crawlers will hop up that wall at some point so keep an eye on my left or my six I'll just shoot him with my with my ballistic knife You see the knives, the, the ones that I didn't miss in the background, you know, they're sticking in his chest and his neck. So I've run out of knives I can shoot and it switched me out to my uh, my AUG, 
It's a pretty decent gun at this level right now. But I'm having too much fun with my knives right now to even deal with the AUG. So. Here we go. Chopping them up. And when you're fighting him, uh, it's okay to get hit once, but you got to watch out for his backswing. It seems like he, he usually wants to do a backswing. If you hang around long enough, see? Like that. And there's one of the crawlers. So got to be a little bit more careful while I'm chopping at George. Thawing off a little bit, running around, assessing the situation. Okay, there's my two crawlers. And now time to kite George into another area. I like to stay by an area with water just in case he gets all raged up. And I need to just kind of cool him down and and uh, let my health get cooled down. But I like chopping them up with these cross defibrillators because you get a lot of work and they do a lot of damage. And, and so I can kill George off pretty quick. So here I am. I got my fifth perk and the death machine. Finish him off with a death machine. There's a drop up there. I think it was a nuke, but oh well. I'm not gonna be able to get there in time with with the death machine. It's not even worth it. So start the round right here. And the death machine goes away before I get to really do anything with it. But that's okay because I'm going to get more death machines as as you're gonna see in a minute. So, oh, there's my next death machine. <laughs> so, i uh, just going to tear up the zombies as much as I can as they're spawning in. And uh, there's a drop that just went down there, and that was actually a carpenter. So, whatever. I'm going to keep on killing them. It's going to slow down the zombie train a little bit. And back to just trying to slice up the zombies as fast as I can as they're spawning in. Just trying to kill off as many as I can because before it's too overwhelming and not safe to really chop at them like this anymore. So now it's they're starting to clump up, so I'll try to maybe hit a straggler here and there. Oh, death machine again. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you, I get lucky with the death machines in this gameplay. That's part of the reason it was so fun for me. But also, the, the cross refibrillator is just really fun. You can take it up to round 14 with it being a one-hit kill. On round 14, it becomes a two-hit kill. So um, if you get the ballistic knife early, just go have fun with it. You know, If you get that from the box early on, uh, have fun with it. But after at round 14 going on, it's not really worth it anymore. But in the meantime, it is fun. You get a, a lot of work in, and you can beat up George really well with it. So here I am, chopping up the zombies as fast as they're spawning in. And trying to chop them up too before George comes back into the picture. So just clutching it up. Killing zombies, killing zombies. Boom, knife. There's a nuke. Oh well. That's the drawback of of rolling with knives is you hit the random nuke. I wish that didn't happen. Even if you're knifing when you're backing up, you'll still pick them up. Like I just got that double point backing up. But because of the lunge. Oh, here's another death machine. So, death machine again. You might as well just pump it into George. Here we go. I'm running low on zombies, so I figured I might as well just, just shoot them up. Oh, that's how low I was. I just killed the last zombie. So, uh, just keeping this on George's head. If I miss a few, that's okay. The overwhelming damage to shooting him in the head over the chest is, is pretty good. So once you get him in water, just start sticking it out his head and, and neck. And uh, next round started, so... All right, go now. It's two hits per per um, kill for a zombie. 
Now I piss him off. I just uh, threw some Semtex to try to kill off any zombies coming my way, and that was another close one. But I got George cooled off now. Knifing zombies up. And pretty quickly, I think I realized, you know what, this is just too hard to keep doing as a two-hit kill. So I switch out to my AUG. Here I go. And time to just go to work on the zombies with the AUG, which is still a really good weapon on round 14. So this is like one of my favorite weapons to have around this time in the zombies. I'm going to upgrade this as a cool weapon because it has a shotgun. It has a, the master key attachments and it has a lot of ammo. So uh, when you upgrade this gun, it, you can just go really far with it. But uh, I'm just rolling the normal AUG for now. Uh, I just hit the box a lot and just go for whatever's in the box that I think I could get a lot of points for and, and kill George off with. So... Just doing the normal work here of killing off zombies and kiting them and getting them back in, together in a clump before I kill more. That's the safest way to do it. Uh, that way you can just like manage your zombies. You know how many are in and how many are out. And, and uh, if they stop spawning in, then you know that that uh, the end of the round is coming. So I got surprised there a little bit from a zombie come behind me. But um, I can sense that, that the end of the round is coming. So start to try to make some crawlers let's kill off the rest of the guys There's only one runner so we can kill him off and dip George back in the water and then we can go back to work on George I think it's funny how after he, he respawned he still has those cross refibrillator knives still stuck in him So here I am, I'm putting my claymores down in the pile because I realized, you know, I just have them. I might as well put them down uh, for safekeeping. I'm not going to use them to kill off George, I guess, this time. Um, I guess because I'm getting some good work in with just these knives. They do a lot of damage, guys. And because of how fast you can you can swing with a ballistic knife, that you can take George out in a few minutes with these things. Whereas other weapons, it might take you like 10 minutes. So here I am, kiting them to... This is my favorite area down here to kill George off. So taking him down here. And uh, we'll find him here. The reason why I like to take him down here is because I can take him through that water path and shoot him in the head the whole time. Or I can do things like the, the PhD flopper off of these stairs. Oh, knifing him up, and one of the zombies died, I guess, and, and here's a spawn in, so he got me by surprise. And, whoop, almost ran in, but I realized I got to heal up before I do that. So, heal up, and back to work on George. Knifing him up. It's getting crazy, so we'll dip him in the water. And this is basically how you do it, guys. You just chop him up, and when things get too crazy, just dip him back in water. Or, you know, just back off that's all you got to do is back off and um, here we you see his light is already blinking orange so just shows how powerful these cross refibrillators are and here we go killing George for the last time in this gameplay so you know like I said this was one of my favorite gameplays I've had and I'm glad I could share it with you guys hope you enjoyed more zombie gameplays coming up and this has been Mixmaster Nut peace